Ladies and gentlemen. I got inter I got interest to take y'all. I got a hot take. I got a take I want to talk about for years, for years. Listen. Watch it. Michael Jordan, Kobe Brown highlight when Kobe dropped the 55 against the Wood. Listen. I'm thinking Michael Jordan retired in 98, right? After he won his last championship. Kobe and, and, and Kobe and Shaq was coming alive. Tim Duncan and Dave Rouse won it. Did Jordan really want to compete? Because after that, Kobe won three straight. And then Jordan come back in the league. After Kobe won three straight. Same thing with 50 Cent came in the, in, in the rap career. This is going to be about Jay-Z and Michael Jordan. Jay-Z said he wanted to retire from rap, be the president at Def Jam, while 50 Cent was on his run, and none of his music going to cut through. Jay-Z tried to go on Breakfast Club years ago, talking about 50 Cent is coming. He was telling every rapper, flood the street with music from Rock and Fuck. And, no, you talking about yourself, too. Because you know the music wasn't going to cut through. Jay-Z is smart, but he never came out and said, I'm retiring because of this. He knows his music wasn't going to cut through at the time when 50 Cent was running shit in G-Unit. From 03 to 05 was nothing but 50 Cent in G-Unit radio. All across the globe was it with 50 Cent, Richard Dodd, Tron, Beg for Mercy, Lord Banks, uh, Young Buck. It was uh, uh, Tony Yo, and it was uh, The Game. Then 50 Cent come after Massacre. And then you had all these flurry of G-Unit hits. Hit, hit, mega hits. Selling, selling what? 20... Selling 20, almost 20 million Royal Ride on the massacre, 9 million, 9, 9, 6 million that year in the United States, 5 million on the massacre, 1.1 million the first week. Jay Z knew he wasn't going to cut through. Same thing with, with Jordan. Jordan didn't want to compete. Without, without, without Scotty, without Phil? No. I'm going to go retire. I'm going to come back, get old, get some checks, put myself in a better position. I ain't going to compete against the best. 50 Cent was running shit, and Jay Z said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire. I'm, I'm, I'm retire. I'm gonna do the, the, the black guy. I'm gonna come out retire. Come back in 06. get all that marketing money from Def Jam as the president. Put all his money on his album. Came back 06, had his highest, had, had his highest first week ever on Kingdom Come. Album was pretty good, wasn't the best Jay Z work. And then spent all that money in 09, got Rihanna, got Kanye, and, uh, and, and Drake on his album. And then he had a great number, and Leash Key that no one song." All the time, no one when 50 Cent cooled out about 09 because 07 he came back and sold 600, 700,000 copies, almost 7,000 copies for a week, 696,000 copies against Kanye. Graduation, sold 967,000. And Jay Z said, I felt like I won in his book because he felt like he beat 50 Cent. That's why we think, that's why 50 Cent think, and I think that Def Jam bought Kanye Adam to make him outsell 50 Cent. That was the end of 50 Cent, and that was the cool kid backpack school, the Drake. Kanye, Kendrick Lamar, the gangster rap, street rap was out the window when, 50, when, when that happened, and it, it, it merged onto a new lane. With Jordan, it was Kobe Bryant and Shaq. Could, could Shaq, could, could Jordan stay in Scotty Pippen? I mean, can Jordan stay in Chicago and build without Scotty? Would another team without, would, would get some other stars around him and win championships during that era? With Kobe and Shaq? No, he would have got embarrassed. He would have got embarrassed. I find it very ironic that when the new kids come on the block, Michael Jordan and Jay Z want to retire. I find it very interesting, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me, tell me what y'all think. Kobe came in. Y'all don't know Kobe. His his, his in that old one season, he averaged twenty half points. Shaq averaged twenty eight point seven. The, the the highest scoring one of the highest scoring duels ever to ever win a championship. And then they averaged twenty nine and thirty respectfully in the playoffs. One only lost one game, and that was to Allen Iverson. Great game one performance, forty eight points. And I was in peer that two thousand one season. Then they come back and sweep the New Jersey Nets. Kobe averaged twenty six points. 26.8 in the finals. 20.6, 20 26.67 in the finals. 50% from the uh, flow. 50% from three. 80 plus percent from the free throw line. Shaq was the MVP average over 36. I don't know who the center was guarding. Kobe, Shaq was Jordan. Jordan, Jordan didn't want to. He, see, he retired twice. He didn't want to compete against Hakeem. Them. People felt like he got, because he had to leave a couple years because the gambling situation got bad. Whatever. He wants to leave. Go play baseball, Jordan. But, the, the biggest competition at the time, Hakeem, The Dream, Kenny Smith, and Clyde, he didn't compete against them. When Kobe and Shaq was coming, he didn't compete. He was retired. Jay-Z, he was retired when, when 50 Cent came around. He was retired. He didn't, he didn't want to compete. When Biggie was alive, Jay-Z wasn't popping like that. Make sure y'all like And I, I love them guys. I think Jay-Z, I think Jay-Z, the GOAT in basketball. I don't think Jordan the GOAT in, in uh, I think Jay-Z the GOAT in rap. And I think Jay Michael Jordan the GOAT in basketball. But I find it very interesting that they both had to retire because they didn't want to compete. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Tell me y'all think I'm tripping. Hit that bell. Ring the bell. Like, subscribe. I'm out.